Hello there, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I want to show you how we can add annotations to our scores. And by annotation, what I really mean here is text, but text that's not part of your score, like the way these tempo markings are here, uh, or this dynamic marking. I mean text that's like a note to yourself. So you might think of it as like a yellow sticky note that we stick on the score, and that's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to make these kind of resemble yellow sticky notes. So I'm going to zoom in on my score, and I'm going to select a note here, and I'm going to type Control T. This is the shortcut for staff text, and I'm going to type some text. I'm going to call it above because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can create this. It's a few steps, but then I'm going to show you how we can easily repeat this. And I'm going to have an above version and a below version. All right. So I've got my above version and it is showing up above the staff, but let's, let's make sure it really shows up above. I'm going to click in the properties panel here uh, where it says show more and I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to make sure that it says above. All right, so good enough. Because sometimes MuseScore might automatically choose where it goes. Let's make sure it's above. So it is above, and uh, now I want to make the background yellow. Well, I did that thing of show more, right? I clicked the show more under properties, and now you'll see there's a frame option here. I want to pick the rectangular frame. Now that I've picked the rectangular frame, I can give it a fill color. And I'm going to click the fill color, and I'm going to pick yellow. Now, your color picker may look different. This is how it looks on my Chromebook running a, a, the Linux version of MuseScore. If you're on Windows, you'll see something that looks like a Windows color picker. On Mac OS, you'll see something that looks like a Mac OS color picker. So I select that, and now I've got my yellow fill. Now, I want the text itself to be red because uh, that's nice. And I'm going to make the border around it also be red. All right. So I'm going to pick where it says border. Uh, or maybe I'll just let the border be yellow. I'll just let the border be yellow just like the, uh, just, you know, so that it doesn't look like it has a border. Maybe that's better. So I'll pick my yellow for the border color. And now I am going to get the text color. To get the text color, I have to scroll up to the top. Now, by the way, you might notice, hey, that border is not yellow now. That's okay. It's because it's still selected and MuseScore is highlighting it and making it all show blue. That's all right. Once I unselect it, uh, it's not. There we go. Now that it's not selected, you see that it's, uh, it is, there is no border. So let's select it again. Now I'm going to come over to the Appearance section of the Properties panel. And here is where I can set the actual text color. So I click that, and I'll set it to a red. And there we go. Again, it doesn't look red because it's selected, but as soon as I uh, deselect it, now I've got my yellow sticky note set to be red, and it says above. So. That was a bunch of steps, right? I mean, it only took me a minute or so, and that was talking about what I was doing. If, if I wasn't talking through it, I could have done it much faster. But I can do it faster still if I now go to my palettes, and I'm going to create a new palette for this thing. Uh, I could put it on my text palette, but I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the, defined, the predefined palettes the way they are. I'm going to add a new palette. So I'm going to say Add Palettes, Create Custom palette. All right. And I'm going to call my custom palette annotations and say create. And now I've got an annotations palette. I want to add this text to that palette. So I'm going to do that by control shift drag. Anytime I've said control today, if you're on Mac, substitute command. Control shift drag into that annotations palette. And there is my above text. Now, if I want uh, another version that's below, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that same text there. I'm going to press X to flip it below. I will now edit the text to say below. And now I will control shift drag that to the palette. There we go. Now, anytime I want to add a text above, I can click a note, click the above. If I want to add text below a note, I can click the note and click the below. There you go. It's going to be that easy. So spending that minute or so up front, setting this up in your annotations palette, now you can easily add text above and below. And then, of course, you can double click the text to say something uh, more 
interesting, right? And I could have changed the font size and all sorts of other things, but you get the idea. So this is how you can create annotations in MuseCore Studio.